This poem is 18 years old, but it is one of those poems that should never be forgotten. At the time of Omar bombing in Ireland, one Irish university student was visiting Newport. I heard her Irish accent as she got on the bus. So I asked her what was her thought about the bombing. She thought for a second and then she replied, Ireland is a beautiful place and so are its people. Warm and friendly, ray of sunshine, but instead of teaching their children to love one another, they're teaching them to hate one another. We are living in a war zone, all because of religion, which is supposed to be the language of love and love of God. Then a week later, she got on my bus as she was going to train the station. I showed her my poem, which was written of her thoughts. I saw tears in her eyes. She said, this is real, thank you. The poem is called, if they are old enough to know, explain it. A six year old child turned around to his mom while he was watching the telly and said, 28 people died with the blast of a bomb. Bum. Look at that man whose belly, mom, mom, I'm afraid. His mom called him over and said, Go on, my boy, put on your bellies, go out and play. The boy picked up his ball, then kicked it on the floor, eventually put on his bellies, then replied, No, mum, tell me, I want to know. Who can kill so many people, injure a thousand, and still believe in God? Does he think he can walk over the graves to see how fast he can get to God? Or does he do it for his freedom? So, we can believe in there is a God. His mom looked at her boy in amazement, then angrily answered, I don't know, I told you to go out and play. The child left the ball on the floor, ran to the kitchen, opened the cupboard door, looked for a matchbox which he knew was so easily to find, went straight to his sister's room, grabbed the ballerina, a dolly, a baby toy of the same kind, set them alight in the garden when his sister asked him where are they he said i don't know mom told me to go out and play on saturday 15th of august 1998 in oma 28 people died and a thousand were injured after the ira bombing two days later in england a six-year-old girl set fire to her house and killed herself in the fire The next poem is about Scotland. Some years ago, I said to an Scottish man that I have written a poem about Scotland. He said, yeah, right. Only an Scottish person can write about Scotland. They have the feel of the land and its beauty. Then when I showed him my poem, I asked him, well, what do you think? He said, I believe you are a poet. You, I believe you are a poet. It's called Take the High Road. Take me to Highland, where the hundred years old bushy green trees reach the light blue sky, where the stream joins the rivers, then gently flow towards the sea, where there are springs and waterfalls, where the tinseled spring of light through the forest, striped with shade and sun, hits the green land, which is beautifully designed and unbelievably but deliberately embroidered with thousands and thousands of wild and colorful flowers, each one contains of a luxurious fragrance that only a highlander knows and cherishes. Where the creatures, large and small, live their life with joy and playful activities, and freedom means freedom. Where the night is night and the day starts with the first ray of sunshine, where the native and elementary life cannot be equaled by the superiority of the city life. There, the fresh breeze of cool mountain air clears my lungs from this dirty city air, and there I begin to live again. Take me to Scotland, to the land where the low road leads to the high road, and the high road leads to highland, where this highlander 
feels at home. Oh, I am a wee mountain man. Subscribe to me so I can bring your thoughts and dreams to reality and then you also may call me a poet. Until next time, thank you for listening.